Thank you for choosing Eagle Rider. My name is Benjamin Young, and today we're going to go over the Harley Davidson 883 Sportster. So now I'm going to show you the disc lock and the proper functions and how it works. Make sure it's secure inside the disc with the key facing out. Now that the disc lock is secure, we're going to put the lanyard on as a reminder. Now I'm going to show you the cable lock and how to properly use it. Now we're going to secure the bike with the cable lock through the engine guard or through a solid object. And now the bike is properly secured. Now I'm going to show you the ignition, how to properly lock it and make sure the bike is secure. Now our final step in locking the motorcycle is turning the handlebars to the left, inserting the key into the fork lock, and that will lock the handlebars. And now the bike is properly secured. Now that we've locked the motorcycle, we're going to show you how to properly unlock the motorcycle. We're going to put the key inside the fork lock to unlock the handlebars, then put the key inside the ignition, turn the power on, and now we can show you the controls. Now let me show you how to properly shift the gears in the motorcycle. On your left side you have the shift lever, one down, five up, neutrals between first and second with six gears total. On your left hand is the clutch control. You also have on your left hand your horn button. You have your high and your low beam with the high beam indicator being the blue light on your dashboard. On your left hand, you also have your left turn signal. And on your right hand is your right turn signal. They are self-canceling, but you can turn them off at any time. Above your start button, you have your hazards with your four-way flashers with the lights on the dashboard. You also have your emergency shutoff switch, which needs to be in the run position for the bike to run. And in the off position, which is up, there is no power to the ignition circuit when the bike is turned on. On your right hand is your throttle control, and your right hand controls your front brake, and your right foot controls the rear brake. With the bike in neutral and the run switch on, you'll hear a unique sound from the motorcycle, which is the fuel pump. The bike is now ready to be started. Now let's cover the fuel and how to check the oil. For this motorcycle, it comes with a 3.3 gallon tank with a range of about 120 miles. Recommended fuel is 91 octane. All right, now we're going to check the oil and make sure it's at the full level. We're now going to use a program called Record 360 to capture the condition of the motorcycle, noting if any imperfections so that when you return the motorcycle, we can match that up to the condition of the motorcycle left in. Do not drink and drive. Alcohol decreases your ability to react and accurately judge traffic situations. Your reaction time, cognitive skills, and vision will be impaired if you drink and ride. Use both brakes. Your stopping power is 30% in the rear brake and 70% in the front. Using both brakes every time to stop will ensure you have 100% of all available stopping power. Never tailgate when riding your bike. Always use a three second following distance allowing you more time to react and control your braking when traffic suddenly stops. The three second following distance also makes you more visible to the traffic in front of you. After the vehicle in front of you passes a fixed object, count one motorcycle one, two motorcycle two, three motorcycle three, and if you have not passed the fixed object, then you are at least three seconds behind it. Always ride in a staggered formation. Each rider will be two or three seconds behind the rider directly in front and using the same half of the lane. When coming to a stop, the group generally forms up two abreast side by side. When a group starts off, the rider on the left starts first. Exercise caution when carrying a passenger. Maneuvering and stopping your bike is more difficult when carrying a passenger. Get comfortable with the extra weight by taking a spin around the block before going on the highway. Take a moment to remind your passenger to stay still, keep their feet on the pegs and their hands on your waist. 
Avoid riding next to a truck. Trucks and 18-wheelers have huge blind spots. Use a space cushion and stay out of the large blind spots altogether. You never know when a truck is going to change lanes. Wear protective gear. Seasonal road conditions change throughout the year. Other vehicles can violate your right-of-way. Remember to wear eye protection and a DOT compliant helmet, jacket, and gloves. Full riding gear offers the best protection while on your motorcycle. Our commitment to you. Eagle Rider cares about your safety and we want you to enjoy your ride. That's why we carefully inspect your rental and make sure it meets our high standards. We look forward to seeing you out on the open road. Safe travels 